Hello everyone, this is Chi and welcome back to my art space. I know that this has nothing to do with art, but I do put my collectibles on my art table so that's my excuse for putting this on my channel. This is an unboxing of Hirono, the other one series from Pop Mart. I've done an unboxing before of their Fairy Zoe series and it, it's also in this channel. But this time I'm doing the Hirono one which I've waited for months and months since I've seen it on their website. So I've ordered these series from their UK website which is hosted by Magic UK or um, Magic with an O. I just love the overall design and color palette of Hirono. This big box contains 12 smaller boxes which has um, 12 non-repeated designs of the Hirono series. It also gives you a chance to have the chase item which has a very rare ratio of um, being included in the box but we'll see. This type of collectible is called a blind box because basically you just buy one box and then you're not sure of what kind of design or figure is inside the box so you leave it up to chance but the reason why I bought the whole set is so that I get uh, 12 short non-repeating figures and the only problem is that if you buy the whole set you only get one chance or one shot into trying to get the chase figure. Even the design of the box is really cute and unique and it's also easier to um, close the flap again unlike the Fairy Zoe collection which doesn't have the band things that you can retie in case you open it. And on the side of the box you still get a list of all the characters or the figures that you can get. Let's see what's in the box. I really like this little detail here, the stamp of Hirono. To be honest, this little box is really hard to open and like the very Zoe box, but I suppose it's the way it's glued. There's no way to open it safely. You just have to kind of rip the top layer off so you can get this um, next layer open. I suppose you still have the string so that you can actually close it back like it's been unopened so here is the packaging inside and then like the fairy zoe collection this one is kind of like a paper brown paper packaging which i really like as well and it has the hirono logo on the front and the name at the back so this is the first figure we have he is actually called staring and there's so much details in this one figure and you get the hirono um, branding uh, on the feet and at the side of his cap this also comes with a little dinosaur figure which is really really cute and it comes um, packaged separately inside the brown paper bag package of the main figure and um, there's the identification card of the name of the figure. We're off to a good start so now we pick the next box. Um, the reason why I really like the Hirono series is like the otherworldly, eerie design of the figures, which I really, really love. So the next figure we have is this one. And this one is called Raving. It also comes with a separate accessory like the first one. And this one is actually a banana telephone which I did struggle to fit in his hands. So far, still no chase item. You would know that it's the chase item because it's not one of the listed figures on the side of the box. So on to the third one. Oh my god, I'm really so happy that I got this one because this one is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to buy the Hirono series. It doesn't come with any extra accessories, but it's one of my top three favorites. Because of the fox mask, it gives me like a really fairy boy Japanese vibe. Now let's go on to the fourth figure. Hoping it's the chase, but we'll see. Oh, it's this one is actually called 
nowhere safe and this one com comes with an extra accessory this figure is the easiest one to assemble because you just literally pop in the main figure and off you go so we're on to the fifth figure now and this one is called the crow he has holes at the bottom of his feet so i'm assuming that there's a stand and yes he does come with accessories which is like a um, golden gong with a drumstick and a stand the golden gong is actually so hard to fit in i mean it's very fiddly to fit in one of his hands so i think it should have been the left hand holding the golden gong i couldn't do it i had to ask my husband for help and he did manage to squeeze it in but the stand it's just straightforward it's easy to put him on the stand and really it's just the gong and the drumstick is also easy to put in you just slide it in on to number six and still no chase in sight This one felt promising as it's really heavy and I know that the chase is quite big. Oh, but this one is called Being Alive. It also comes with an accessory like a golden coin. There are no holes on his feet so I'm not really sure if the coin is meant to be a stand. And he does stand on his own although um, he does have a tendency to fall over. But yeah, this is the golden coin. It's a shame that his identification card is actually a bit bent but yeah there's the coin and here he is standing so now we're on to the next one this one is called marionette it does remind me of pinocchio and it's actually really cute as well i love the distressed style of coloring in this um collection so far we didn't get the chase but there's still a few boxes left so let's see what um, we get on this one this one is just one of the cutest out of the whole set as well and it's called the ghost it also comes with an extra ac accessory which i will show you in a bit and here it is I'm not actually sure what this is. It looks like a, a creature or an animal, but I think it's like a separate little ghost with a ghostly bubble on its head. Anyways, it's really cute. So we only have four boxes left and still no chase, but I am actually after something else as well. Let's see what we get in this one. This one is called The Monster and I have to be honest, I'm not really a fan but it's still a good design, it's still nice but yeah, just not a fan. Last three chances to get the Chase figure, um, let's see. Oh my god, yes, this is it. This is the one that I'm actually after and it's called The Cuckoo. I love the writing on his crown which says don't worry about tomorrow. I think it's because of the clock that he's holding, but he kind of reminds me of the white rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Now I'm down to my last two chances of getting the chase figure, so let's see what we have in this one. Yes, although it's not the chase, I am actually looking forward to having this one as well, and I think it's called the Vagrancy. And just look at it. Look at the design. It's so cute. And I love the little teddy bear bag behind his back. It's just, it's just cute. And last chance to get the chase item. And my 12th figure out of the collection. And let's see what we get. If you've made it this far watching my video, thank you very much. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. But let's see what we get in this one. Right. It's called Amnesia, and although it's not a chase item, I'm still really happy to get this one too. And the only accessory that comes with this figure is his stand. I had so much fun unboxing this set, and although I didn't get the chase item, I did get the main figures that I am after, mainly the fox, cuckoo, 
the ghost and vagrancy. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me in my unboxing. I hope that I made you interested in the Hirono The Other One series and you can check them out on Magic UK's website or Pop Mart in London. Thank you. Bye.